Brian Law in the UK has a huge library of wooden clock plans and different clock making information. And in preparation for uh, building a wooden clock, uh, he has published a set of uh, sample gears that a builder can use to evaluate whether or not they are capable or comfortable making the gears. After downloading the sample gears, uh, you'll need to import them into Fusion 360. And here I'm opening up a new sketch and I'm importing the uh, sample gear DXF file that I downloaded. And it will import in uh, with various layers and it'll be a simple matter of uh, making sure that you get all the layers that you need. In this case, I just imported everything uh, because basically I just want to uh, create the outlines for the extrusions. Uh, so this is what the uh, file looks like brought straight in. Press E for extrude and select all the areas you'd like to extrude to the thickness of your material. You can then use various joints and uh, assemble the components uh, into an assembly. And here I'm actually uh, building the gear train uh, because I'm interested in creating a motion link that will allow me to uh, visualize the gears in, in motion. It's just kind of fun. Don't need to do it. I made a copy of the gears and laid them out in a flat pattern in preparation for cutting. Uh, for this toolpath, I'm using a 332nd end mill. And I'm just going to go in and pocket everything out and just do a single profile uh, very quickly. The cutter I'm using is a Frude uh, 332nd double flute straight bit and it's designed to take a cut up to uh, 3 8 of an inch deep and profiles really well. The cut calculator came in between 80 and 135 inches per minute. I went about 100 inches per minute. I haven't done a lot of routing uh, with this machine uh, in small end mills, uh, but this end mill worked out fantastic, which uh, means the spindle's running very true, otherwise it would have broken off very quickly. Uh, I want to give you an idea of what it looks like, you know, actual speed-wise. Overall, it worked out really well. Uh, when I finished cutting it out, uh, I simply cleaned out all the grooves and then popped it out like a puzzle and uh, had minimal cleanup. I then used a round file to uh, go around and clean all the teeth and just kind of take off all the burrs and make sure that everything was ready to mesh well. Uh, it only took a couple of minutes. I did speed this up quite a bit. At first glance the uh, gears assembled and they ran fairly well. Uh, everything looked like an early success. But upon closer inspection, things definitely aren't right. My holes aren't round. The uh, thicknesses on some of the parts, uh, there's some variation. Uh, everything just looks off uh, by a little bit or even a lot. Not sure what's going on. Could it be the multicam has some backlash? Mm -hmm. 